At least she's <laughs> honest. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I am honest. And welcome to another exciting episode of... Feel a Real Fun. Oh my god, can you imagine another that, everyone? Another exciting episode of Feel a Real Fun. That's right. I mean, like, they're definitely not born. I mean, I don't think and so. And today is part four of the Twelve Disciples. Oh. We're doing the fifth disciple, but it's part four. No, it's actually, no this is part five. Is it? Yeah. We did we did one, oh, Monday, two, Tuesday, three Wednesday, and four, Thursday. four and three. Oh okay. Trust me. Sorry, part five All right. of the twelve disciples. Mind power. And it's about Philip. Anicia. Hello. Jeanette. Hello. Barbara. All these MM and Triple D people. If I'm you're in the MM hello. or the Triple D or I have done or will done well anyway. If you're Triple D Type it in. If you're MM, type it in. Let us know. Right? So <laughs> yes. this is just weird. Sizzler, there today. Yeah. Yo, Triple D sizzle. Okay, so go to freenevel.com. That's right. Join us on that 221 email list because it's a lot of fun. It's a freebie. And you got to let bad guys there for now, pal. Yeah, leave right? it. Just till after the show. Yeah. All right? And then we'll let everyone see you in bad guys. All mm -hmm. right? <laughs> ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. Oh my wow. God! Somebody in one of the Neville Goddard groups was complaining because I make money. Would you believe that? Really? Yes. And they said Neville never charged. He never, did. never. Right? God and I are one. Go listen to the fucking lecture. Do the math. He made a lot of money. More like Tony Robbins, right? Yeah. <laughs> charged a lot more. He charged like about for two talks. What I charge for a 90-day program, right? Yeah. So little Missy, think you know it all, right? Get bent like a U. Right? No. Somebody say bent like a yule, right? Bent so, like a you. Bent like a yule, <laughs> right? In other words, study Neville. Don't say, oh my god, the fat guy said it, so it must be true. No, check out what Neville said. He shared his numbers. He made good money. And I know someone will say, but he didn't charge for all of them. I don't charge for this. I'm going to get rid of it. Anyway. Just so I can focus on that. So, rant over. Rant over. Rant what over. What are getting rid of, everyone? All right. So, Just so you know. Because I kept looking at this. It's the bad cuz. It's the bad cuz. All right. It squeaks and squeaks. Bruce loves it. And we've got to put it away for the show. That's right. And uh, trip, the doors for Triple D will open up next week for the one starting in June. Date to be announced. And, uh, or is it this week? Anyway, later this week, doors will open. So if you want on the early bird list, let me know now, right? So we've got like 30 people on the early bird list. If they all join, it won't go public, right? So boom. Steven, thank you. Bent like a U. I, I, I so appreciate that. Shazad, right. bent like a U. Oh my god, they're all typing bent like a U. You asked him to. <laughs> Spontaneously. Okay. Ideally. So. All right. And did you do for refunds go to fill it real Not yet. Okay. All right. I did it. All right. All right. So She's now we amazing. can start all right. with part five of the 12 disciples. It's about Philip. Philip! He's the fifth disciple. <laughs> you guys remember we talked about this? Eddie Murphy. Bill! So, the fifth quality called to discipleship is Philip. This one asks to be shown the Father. What could that possibly mean? Will I keep reading? <laughs> yes, you shall. Oh, okay. The awakened man knows that the Father is the state of consciousness in which man dwells and that this state or Father can be seen only as it is expressed. All right, so, mm. right? If you mm. are honestly living in a state of, uh, I create wealth or you've doubled your income and work half the time and you live in that state, you will not find yourself making affirmations about it, right? Mm. Sort of like me saying, I am a white guy. I'm a white guy. <laughs> I am a white guy. I'm a, yeah. I'm a white guy. That's right. right. Uh, it's obvious, right? I imagine what put me in a white guy meat suit, and so I don't have to walk around going... Affirming it. Oh, I am a white guy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. What did Neville say here? The father, right? The father in the, is the state of consciousness... In which man dwells. And that this state or father can only be seen as it is expressed. Are you get it? You can see what state I live in, right? <laughs> Go mm. on, Victoria. He knows himself to be the perfect likeness or image of that consciousness with which he is identified. All right, so if you want to notice, you know, what have you been imagining? Okay, it's real easy. 
Okay, if mm. I want to notice what she's been imagining, mm. you it's look at her. <laughs> real easy. Right. right? You get it? She washed ha she imagined having nice hairs. Right? Mm. She's got them. Right? Some people don't imagine having any nice hairs, right? <laughs> they don't get them. Anyway. Continue, Victoria. Okay. So he declares, no man has at any time seen my father, but I, the son, who dwelleth in his bosom, have, reveal, have revealed him. Therefore, when you see me, the son, you see my father, for I come to bear witness of my father. So the son is the circumstance, and you'll see how Neville explains this. The circumstance, see, I imagine being a loving teacher, pretty blunt loving teacher sometimes, right? Very. And that's what I am. <laughs> Right? Now, if yeah. I was imagining being a door-to-door -door salesman, that's what I'd be, right? Yeah. That's the thing, right? So, so the sun, what is visible, okay? The sun was visible. Mm. The, you couldn't see the father. But you, but you know who the father is. You can tell through the, the sun. through the sun, right? Keep going, Victoria. It'd be it's clear like the batshit crazy that we, um, we put in our Facebook posts or pages, profiles. Not me, but some right. people. Is right. that what you mean? It's like we're saying, I want, I want a good woman, but all women's a gold digger. Yeah, in absolutely. Their posts. Is that right. What so you mean? can tell what they're really imagining, right? Yeah, right. It could be, I, I know I'm doing a session around being married, but you can tell what they're really imagining because of what they're actually expressing. I mean, Got when you. a woman looks at them and they go, Ew, right? It's like, mm. Yeah, they can feel it. Mm. So, okay. boom. Um, I and my father, consciousness and its expression. God and man are one. This aspect of the mind, when disciplined, persists until ideas, ambitions and desires become embodied realities. This is the quality which states, yet in my flesh shall I see God. It knows how to make the word flesh, how to give form to the formless. Get it? This is how cool this is because yet you notice here, you know, what does Neville say? Consciousness and its expression. Mm. Remember, consciousness is the only reality. You notice what you're conscious of, imaginally, and it expresses itself in your experience, in your world, in the flesh. Okay, ideas, ambitions, desires, okay, hungers, not concepts. Mm. That would be nice. Okay, uh, yeah. ideas, ambitions, desires, right? Yeah, you get how he builds on that. It's mm. not just, yep, yeah, I had a thought, thanked it, and I think it'd be thought and be good. Thinked it, thunk, and thunked it through. Yeah. <laughs> Ideas, <laughs> ambitions, desires, what moves you? Mm. Right? An ambition moves you, right? Mm. And they become embodied realities. I love the fact that he uses that word. <clears throat> so, in one of our little private groups, right, mm. that DDD grads can join, uh, we explored cre the lecture creation faith. And there's a really cool little part in there where Neville talks about what faith is. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality, yeah. right? The unseen reality is the Father, the state that you live in, right? The seen is the sun, right? What is visible, the physicality of it, right? And so whenever you get this, the, the whole idea is... Um, if you're actually living in a state, mm. it will express itself. And that could be in the next second, it could take a little bit of time depending upon the wish, but it really doesn't matter. But, and, but you won't be going around talking yourself into it. If you've nailed it, it's there. It grows, it oozes. Mm. Oozes, I like that yeah, word Yeah, it's a lovely word. Reason. Oozes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Alrighty. So Philip mm. wanted to see the father. And he was basically told this. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you reckon, Victoria? Okay, that's great. And I start seeing links in loads of different things. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say, like being, like you were saying, the state your dwelling place and how, um, like with this, that um, what's inside is what's expressed, what's visible to the world, do you know what I mean? And being loyal to that. And with the honourable and dignified, it's like anything that's not that 
being honourable and dignified and only allowing, do you know what I mean? Yep. The honourable and dignified in that is a representation of that as well. And whenever you look <laughs> through this whole series, again, what's it begin with? It begins mm. with Simon, who becomes Simon Peter, the rock. Mm. Simon is, is the gatekeeper. Right, mm. it's not just the doorman. Come on through. Yeah, right? yeah. I just come on through. <laughs> Anyone, and everyone, tip, not a come problem. on through. Yeah. <laughs> now he's charged with only letting in the honorable, the dignified. The, yeah, you get it. And then there's Andrew. What was Andrew about? Courage. Oh my God, courage. Right. Mm. So he's fishing. Mm. Right. Curious. Right. Mm. Knowingness. Mm. That courage. Right. That, and it's a quiet courage. Again, think about fishermen. Mm. Right. They're not sitting there making a lot of noise. Okay, you're fishy, fishy. No, they're it's quiet. It's like you're curious. It's a, courage, curious. Absolutely. Confident, um, silent knowing. It's like all of that's in, in Andrew, I reckon. Yep, mm. I agree. Mm. You have to. Mm. And then we moved on to James the Just and John the Beloved. Yeah. Right? There, there's this thing about making distinctions. And one of the distinctions being you're not the state that you've fallen into. Right, one of the, the 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 whole idea being, like like they say, like only give life to the lovely. That lesson mentioned that, only give life to the lovely. Hear nothing about another, unless it's lovely. Mm. And then Philip here, right? Philip, the embodiment of the Father. Yeah. Yes, mm. the state that you live in is the Father. The Son is its expression. Mm. Okay, nice and simple. So. Victoria. Cool. Appears that my car is having battery issues. Yes. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be taking the car yes. to the place to have the battery checked. Yes. Right? Because this is the whole thing. Like, what does a loving BMW owner do? Right? And a loving after husband. His BMW. Looks after his car. Right? Yeah. I like when Victoria drives it and it functions the way I want it to. Right? Hmm. Not the way that it has been decided to yes, yes. <laughs> right yeah the computers get a little wonky when the batteries get a little wonky right yeah so it's like right we're going to take it in and get that looked at but you see there's an embodiment there embodiment of another state oh, i don't know if i can afford it what if i go there and i gotta get another one or what if it's something else and i gotta get david to do it and like oh fuck it man like mm. stick your arm out the window point <laughs> where you're going right yep. you can do it you got an arm don't you woman yeah. Right, stick it out the window. I did do point. that yesterday on the way home. Yeah, sometimes you got to, right? <laughs> yes. But that's the thing, mm. right? All right. That's all I got. So we'll get that fixed today. Yep. Get that taken care of. Yeah. Right? Taken care taken of. Taken care of. Cool. All right. So, okay. Victoria, shall we I tell them a couple things? I hope you love this show. But Victoria wants to know something. By the way, you all that are here, right? Triple D, M, M. Type it out. What are you in? Right? What have you done? Yeah. And so... Yes. Ah, and, and the doors open later will this week for the early birds. Part six. Oh my God, can't wait. Not going to tell you what it is because I forget. <laughs> it just cool. looked. So a guy can shut the heavy lid, is that right? Yeah, shut that heavy lid. Right. All right. So meanwhile. Visit us. Oh no. Oh. First. She needs to know something. I do. Tell us your, your. Strawberry bit. Where is it? There. Strawberry bit. That's yeah, actually right there. <laughs> well, that's weird because it looked like it was. Oh, it's there. <laughs> right. All right. Tell us your strawberry What's your bit? strawberry bit? Right? My, yes. Mine's Emmett humping Bruce. <laughs> he is at the moment. Poor That's Bruce right. just waiting for bad cuz to come back out of the drawer. <laughs> Actually, my strawberry bit is how these all weave together. Yeah. Right? Like, I, That's I, mine too. Because it like... Sorry. Oh. Don't mean to... I'll, let, I'll come back to you. <laughs> but how I was saying in the show, like how with the honourable and the dignified and do you know what I mean? Only hearing what what the father what's inside the father how it's expressing as a son and only allowing in what or oh, pass through that they gate all weave together yep they and having the courage together. to do that it's yeah it's ace sorry keep going yeah that's it yeah like seriously mm. I, there, there's a danger to this whenever you go right all i gotta do is measure what apply just fulfill something else i'm done with it imagine many times it takes and it's like but if you dive into the way neville explored this mm. i mean it's poetic yeah, it is. I mean, only the dignified. Yes. And also, the way you were just then, like, pretending to be someone that's like, no, 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 no. But there's the just and beloved. Don't forget that. Yeah, be just. Like, be only let the honourable and dignified in, but there's no man to go, piss off! <laughs> it's like, 
from a just and beloved state. It's yes. like, I don't choose to hear that. Or, you got it? You know what I mean? It's, yeah. That makes I all the it. difference between standing around going, cancel, 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 cancel. Mm. Right? Mm. I am a white guy. A white guy. White guy. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I saw a few, a few little MMK. strawberry bits and yeah. I saw an MM there, Ace. Meanwhile, go to freenevel.com. That's right. Join, uh, subscribe to the 221, 221 email, email list, list and listen to the daily podcast. Loads of goodies there. Every single Pseudo day. Pseudo random goodness. Uh, join us in our 90 day, our 90 day adventure. <laughs> Get a bit Structured. At manifestingmasterycourse.com. Half a price of a donut a day. 97 bucks total, 90 days. And for the lady that, oh my God, you make money, Neville said you never charge fraudster. <laughs> right? No, Neville didn't say that. The fat and white guy did. For refunds. <laughs> Go to feelitrealfun.com. Yeah, that's right. He also said lots of other dumb yeah. shit. Like, I will not climb a ladder. That's dumb shit. <laughs> I, yeah, I will not climb a ladder. I will not climb a ladder. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Unbelievable.